Hare Krishna. It is with a heavy heart that we contemplate the departure of Shri Prabhupada's exalted disciple and one of the foremost leaders of the Krishna consciousness movement is known as Bhakti Charu Maharaj. My first introduction to Maharaj, like many other devotees, was through hearing his Gopi Gita and on many occasions in Pune, Mumbai, Kolkata, I got to hear his sweet wisdom filled classes. At a personal level, I had two interactions with him which were significant. Once was in Kolkata where I had opportunity to have lunch with him. I was giving visiting there for a youth camp and Maharaj was visiting for a day. So that was the time I mentioned to Maharaj my profound appreciation for the Abhay Charan series. I, I had read the Lila Amrit many times. In fact, the Lila Amrit was the book that inspired me to dedicate my life to serving Krishna. And I loved how Maharaj had brought the Lilamru to life in Abhay Charan. Then we went into significant detail discussing the idea of artistic license or poetic license wherein certain things for the purpose of appropriateness to a particular medium are, are depicted even if they are non-historical. So, I had been thinking of how much such devices can be used in writing because I am primarily a writer and I had explored some things in that tradition but I was amazed how much thought Maharaj had put into this, how much research he had done and how uh, where artistic license can be used, where it can't be used. So, Rupa Goswami says in the Natak Chandrika that the primary purpose of a Natak is of a drama is to invoke rasa in people's hearts. And then whatever is required for invoking rasa, that can be done in a drama. And in a sense, a TV serial is like a drama enacted for a much broader audience. So, one of the most uh, moving uh, aspects of the Abhay Charan, which is different from the Rilamrath, actually has come from Maharaj's heart. Uh, when, so, when Prabhupada is, uh, has gone to Sumti Moraji to ask her for for uh, giving him a passage to America and she refuses. She says that my secretary has said that um, he will die over there. So, and Prabhupada turns and walks back and as he's walking, he turns once again. He says that you are like my daughter and if I'm going to die, will you not fulfill one last desire of your father? Please, let me fulfill the instruction of my spiritual master by going to the West to preach. This, if we watch it carefully, it's, it's riveting. It brings out the fervent intensity of the heart of Srila Prabhupada. How much he longed to fulfill the instruction of his spiritual master. So, I talk with Satsuru Maharaj and then I talk with Bhakti Charu Maharaj. Now, this particular incident is Bhakti Charu Maharaj's devotional creativity in expressing Prabhupada's heart, even if there is no historical record. So here we see Maharaj's expertise in bringing out the right rasa. The purpose of Vaishnava drama is to invoke rasa, that 
our appreciation for Srila Prabhupada and for his extraordinary dedication in the face of incredible difficulties is enhanced. And that was the purpose of Bhakti Chavar Maharaj. Oh, I learned a lot from Maharaj, not just about you know how non-historical things can be used in Krishna service, but how expertly the mood of a particular incident can be enhanced. My second meeting with Maharaj was also in Bengal, in Mayapur, where I had again visited for a, a retreat and Maharaj was there. And this was recently, about a couple of years ago. The first meeting was over a decade, decade ago. So I had heard about Maharaj's uh, extraordinary project in D-Land in Florida. And I have been spending the last five, six years, more than six months, almost six months in America and almost nine months abroad, trying to assist, assist in Western outreach. And it's a huge challenge. So I wanted to understand Maharaj's vision for embarking on such a magnificent, such a challenging project. And then Maharaj explained to me elaborately about how you know, he feels strongly that while our movement is spreading in India, of course it can spread much, much more. But he felt that there should be an opportunity to help non-Indians also to come to our movement. And the sheer scale of Maharaj's vision was breathtaking. When I was hearing how animated Maharaj was about what all he wanted to do for Krishna and Srila Prabhupada in Florida, I got a, one of my most endearing glimpses of how Prabhupada must have been. I heard from Srila Prabhupada's other disciples that just by being with Prabhupada and hearing about Prabhupada's desire to glorify Krishna, the devotees would get energized devotees would be astounded by Prabhupada's vision, scope of Prabhupada's vision and would be energized. For example, the devotees of New Vrindavan, Hayagriya Prabhu tells how when they got some land in New Vrindavan, Prabhupada said, in this way you can keep purchasing more land and then one day you can purchase all of West Virginia and offer it to Krishna. So, the sh sheer variety of ways in which Maharaj wanted to tap the uh, appeal for West Eastern spirituality the, that is there in the Western world and create multiple resources. So one of course is people come and chant and practice bhakti. The number of people who are ready to do that are relatively few. So to create many other channels through Ayurveda, through holistic healthcare, through yoga. So the the sheer scale of Maharaj's vision and knowing especially firsthand the challenges of doing even a small thing in America. Uh, in India, if you want to do anything, it's uh, there are so many devotees available to assist. But in America, it's not that easy. And how Maharaj inspired devotees from various places to come there to assist, that was... Uh, astounding and inspiring for me. In fact, I felt very enlivened to do whatever I could in my small way to assist in Western outreach. Thereafter, I have had two interactions closely with, with Maharaj's project and disciples. I visited the D-Land and I met Bhakti Prem Maharaj and the sheer amount of dedication that is required to take care of that project is where you know, right from the most menial services to the services of managing and overseeing and giving classes, everything. So I told Bhakti Prem Maharaj that now by Bhakti Prem Bhakti Jaru Maharaj, mercy, you have got your sannyas twice. Now once you took sannyas in India and now 
Bhaktacharya Maharaj Maharaj says, you have got a second sannyas, so you left all the prestige and uh, position and the influence that a sannyasi has in India to take up this service and that you had that inspiration and the dedication. It's your dedication, it's also Maharaj's extraordinary benediction. I also was able to visit Ujjain once and there I could see in the beautiful temple, in the dedication of the devotees, in the building up of a beautiful and vibrant community. You know, Ujjain is permeated with Bhakti Jaru Maharaj's presence. And I felt blessed to be there, to be of some service to the devotees. Krishna, as it is said, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says after the departure of Haridas Thakur, that Krishna gave me this association and now Krishna by his free will has, by his sweet will has taken away the association of Haridas Thakur. Recently I had started this monk's podcast where I was discussing different things with different Vaishnavas. In fact, I have a plan to invite Bhakti Jaru Maharaj. Of course, he's very busy and I was hoping that he might be able to spare some time. Unfortunately, that opportunity is lost now forever. We, when great souls like Bhakti Charu Maharaj depart from the world, normally when a devotee is departing from the world, we pray for them that they have a safe passage from this world to an auspicious destination. Now, as a service, I devotees across the world prayed that Maharaj stay with us. It is not that our prayer was uh, was not heard by Krishna. Krishna did hear our prayers. At the same time, you know, Krishna has other plans for the Vaishnavas, for, Mahar for Bhakti Charu Maharaj. So, we pray not so much for a great Vaishnava, but we pray also to a Vaishnava. Uh, the example of dedicated service, uh, dedicated visionary, faithful service to Shri Prabhupada and to Krishna that Maharaj has demonstrated, that can be a model so that, that we can emulate in our small way. Even if we can do a fraction of the extraordinary services that Maharaj has done and Maharaj has inspired others to do. It will be the way we can, in our own small ways, continue the glorious legacy of bhakti for sharing which Maharaj gave his life. Shri Bhakti Charu Maharaj ki jai. Shri Prabhupada ki jai.